Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate the Ohm's Law experiment. At the end of this video, students should be able to verify the Ohm's Law, determine the effective resistance of resistors in series and parallel combination. Before we go to the experiment, let's take a look at the theory. At constant temperature, the potential difference V across a conductor is directly proportional to the current I that flows through it. And to get the equation, the constant is the resistance R. Hence, mathematically, V equals to IR. For equivalent resistance in series as shown in this diagram, R equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus Rn. For equivalent resistance in parallel as shown in this diagram, 1 over R equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over Rn. To verify V equals to IR, the graph of potential difference V versus current I are to be plotted. And from the graph, the gradient M is the effective resistance. The apparatus needed for this experiment are a DC power supply, three resistors of the same resistance, a DC milliammeter, a DC emitter, a DC voltmeter, a variable resistor, switch, and connecting wires. Let's learn how to determine the resistance of a given resistor. There are four bands of colors in each resistor. The first band is the first digit. Here, the color is brown. From the chart, brown is 1 ohm. Next, the second band is the second digit. Here, the color is black. From the chart, black is 0. The third band is the multiplier. Here, the color is red. And from the chart, red is 10 to the power of 2. The fourth band is the tolerance of the resistor. Here, the color is gold and from the chart, gold is 5%. Finally, we can write the resistance of this resistor as 10 times 10 to the power of 2 plus minus 0 0.05 ohm or 1000 plus minus 0 0.05 ohm. Another method is by using the color wheel, brown, black, and red will give you 1000 ohm followed by tolerance 0.05 ohm. Now let's go to the procedure. Step 1. Determine the resistance of each resistor from their color bands. Use the technique I have shown you to determine the theoretical value of resistance in series, R theory series, and resistance in parallel, R theory parallel. You are going to use these values to compare it with the experimental resistance in your report. Turn the dial of the DC power supply and make sure it is at 4 volt. Connect from positive terminal of DC power supply to the switch. From the switch, connect it to the variable resistor. Then, from the variable resistor, connect it to the positive terminal of the milliammeter. From the negative terminal of the milliammeter, connect it to the resistors in series. From the resistor, connect it to the negative terminal of the DC power supply. Use 5 volt of the voltmeter and connect them to both ends of the resistors, like so. Now, we have completed the circuit for resistors in series. Change the resistance value in the variable resistor to get a minimum reading of the milliammeter. 
record the reading of the voltmeter V and the milliammeter I. Change the resistance value in the variable resistor to obtain at least 5 different values of V and I. Tabulate your data. Plot a graph of V against I. From the graph, deduce the effective resistance R experiment series of the three resistors connected in series. Next, we are going to set up the experiment by using the parallel arrangement of the resistors. Connect everything accordingly. This time, we change the milliammeter with emitter. Change the resistance value in the variable resistor to get a minimum reading of the emitter. Record the reading of the voltmeter V and the emitter I. Change the resistance value in the variable resistor to obtain at least 5 different values of V and I. Tabulate your data. Plot graph of V against I. And lastly, from the graph, deduce the effective resistance R experiment parallel for the three resistors connected in parallel. This is the sample of the table for your data tabulation. You may pause the video and copy down the table. Example of data in series. Example of data in parallel. Next, write a full report. Compare the value R obtained from the experiment with the calculated value from the theory for both combinations, series and parallel. State the sources of error as well as any precaution taken to overcome them. Lastly, state the conclusion of this experiment. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching.